Hello guys and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to install any mods you want for Minecraft. Now you're going to go in the description and download something called My ModCraft. Now when you've got ModCraft, you're going to need RenRAR and .NET Framework 4.0. Now if you have a newer computer, you should already have .NET Framework 4.0. And if you don't, there's also going to be a download link in the description for that. And don't worry, it's virus free. I mean, it was made by Microsoft. Now, I'm just going to create a new folder and name this ModCraft. And I'm going to go op open up that and hit Extract to close that out and ModCraft. So this is going to extract and ModCraft is really useful because you can do lots of things with it. In fact, I'd recommend you to explore a little bit throughout ModCraft. Now when I open up the ModCraft folder, there's ModCraft .exe, or it's an application but it's a .exe folder. And then there's the updater. Now the updater is for when there's updates obviously so I'm just going to open up this and it says checking connection to, to the server connection was successful checking settings everything is fine checking for updates no new versions of Minecraft available now this is what the GUI looks like or the GUI and I'm gonna just show you the mod section of this and the texture pack section now the texture packs is pretty cool because you can go through here and you can pick out the texture pack that you would like now if I was let's just say simple as it is and I picked that one. It's going to show this thing. I, I mean, I guess this is a picture you had. It requires no HD fix. No. Version 1.7.3. Author Rack Bayek. And then you can just hit download now. And simple as it is, it has been downloaded and been saved. So now you have that texture pack. Pretty useful, right? Now you can do the same thing with mods. Go to View Mods. And pick out a mod that you would like. For this, I'm going to pick out... How about single player commands and it says requires resume or resume I don't know, resume game gamey's mod loader. I thought it was resume anyway so you can hit install this mod it's installing operating and it's unpacking and as you, it's actually downloading it and putting it into your minecraft.jar so you don't have to go through all the horrible long tasks of installing all of it and you You'll notice there's a back up my saves and back up my Minecraft. So if you have any important worlds, I'd suggest using that. Now it said we needed Rizu um Rizugami as I think I pronounced it. Rizugami's mod loader. So we'll go on to required mods and find mod loader. Mod loader is right here. And so since we need this, we're probably gonna have to install mod. Now this is going to install, and I will go and test Minecraft after this is done installing. So, and I already had too many items in, and it doesn't, I don't believe, let me just open up Minecraft. I don't believe that it overwrites the mods, I think it just adds them. So, it's really useful. Let me log in. And, a single player, create new world, and we'll go on down to test, and just create a new world. Now, this is gonna, going to build the terrain, but, again, everything is in the description that you are going to need. It's a really easy process and you are going to use this tons of times because the mods that it shows are mods that are updated for the current version of Minecraft. So that way you'll get no errors whatsoever when doing this. You notice I started up fine. It's because I have 1.7.3 and it says single player commands is it's single player commands is on. So you can notice I can type like fly and guess what I'm flying. You can see that also, you can type in, I don't know, I'm not doing a single player commands tutorial, but you should see also I have too many items in, which is what I had in before. You notice I did not install too many items. Also, mod loader is in, so this is one of the best programs I have come across on Minecraft, believe it or not. And there's a lot of good programs out there. So I'd like to thank you for watching, and subscribe if you have not already. I'd recommend doing that because it helps me. If I helped you install these mods easily, I mean, you can at least return the favor with a little subscription. <laughs> Um, or you can thumbs it up. I like them both. I mean, it's completely your choice. And if I didn't help you, feel free to dislike this video. Or if I wasn't clear enough, feel free to dislike it. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Let me just get off my graft.